conversation at the United Bakers Dairy Restaurant, I called my cousin Benny. Benny is 20 years older than me, and I asked him if he knew anything about Davy the Punk. Well, he laughed, and he told me this story. I got married in June of 1942, and your cousin Tevye got married two days later. We decided that the four of us would honeymoon together in New York City, where we could see Joe DiMaggio and the New York Yankees. They had a game against the Detroit Tigers and their great Jewish star, Hank Greenberg. My father-in-law said he'd give us his car for the trip. This was a very big deal for four young, just married kids. I was still in university. Tevye was an apprentice plumber. We were as poor as church mice and about as naive. I figured we'd just walk up to Yankee Stadium and buy tickets in the bleachers. That's how much we knew. But your Uncle High set us straight. But then he said, if the one person who could get tickets was Davy. Well, I have to tell you that I was reluctant to call your father. Your father was not a friendly man. And we all knew he had some shady connections. But I called him, and he was very nice. He gave me a number to call when we got to New York. No name, just a number. He said, tell him I told you to call. Well, we drove all day. We got into Manhattan at night. We checked into a dumpy hotel with Murphy beds. And the next morning I got up, I called the number, and a voice answered and said, yeah, that's all, yeah. Well, I said, Davy told me to call, and he said, wait. And then another voice came on, sort of a hoarse whisper, and said, you're the honeymooners, right? <laughs> I said, well, yeah, we were, and he said, everything is arranged. There's four tickets at Yankee Stadium in your name. You don't have to pay for them. It's all taken care of. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I said, that's terrific or something. And he said, you got plans for after the game. <laughs> As if we had plans. He said, you want to go to the Copacabana? I said, well, we were on a pretty tight budget. He said, kid, you don't pay for nothing. Just tip good. And after that, you can go and catch the second show at the Latin Quarter. Well, that afternoon, we got on the subway. We went out to the Bronx. We went up to the stadium, picked up the tickets. They were in the fourth row behind third base, right behind where the president sits for the World Series. Hank Greenberg hit a home run. Well, we went back to the hotel, we got as dressed up as we could, and we went to the Copacabana. I told them who we were, and it's, yes, sir, Mr. Boston, right away, Mr. Boston, and just like in the movies, they take a table from the back, they put it in front of the front row, they put a tablecloth on it, and that's where we sat. The chorus line practically kicked us. <laughs> Sophie Tucker sang right in front of us. Well... A few years go by, and I'm home, I'm watching TV, I'm watching the Kefauver hearings on television. It was the biggest thing on TV, everybody watched. Senator Kefauver was grilling these gangsters and crooked politicians, and all of a sudden, I hear a voice, I recognize. I called up Tevye right away, I said, Tev, turn on the TV, it's a guy, the guy we got the Yankees tickets from. You know whose seats we were sitting in? No, he says, who? I says, the Prime Minister of the Mob, Frank Costello, that's who. <laughs> Scatter my ashes on the back stretch, it is my bequest and donation. 